All right, so I've actually been sitting on these things for a little bit now, and I've already unboxed them. And the reason why I unboxed them already is because I like to double check and make sure nothing's damaged. So this is the first part. Um, it's already, I've already unboxed it. And the reason why I unbox my things before I actually physically open it on camera is because I like to check and make sure it's the correct part. It's nothing's damaged because I, as you can see, sometimes boxes they get holes in them. This one's like pretty nicked up. So I like to make sure that everything's there before I actually take delivery of it. So I open up my boxes right away. All right, so judging from me unboxing this, you guys can already tell this is a harness bar. This is not a cage, obviously. I went with the NRG one is because it was very inexpensive. It was about $160 for this. It came in a blue, which is not, doesn't match my blue that I have, but it's blue. So it'll look at least somewhat decent. And I will explain why I have a harness bar in front of you instead of a full on cage. So the reason why I chose to get the harness bar for now, it's going to be a temporary solution and that is why I chose to get an inexpensive one and not go out and spend two, three hundred dollars for like uh, a, like one that's going to be a little more permanent. And that's another reason why I didn't go with auto power, the four point cage, because I wasn't going to spend six, seven hundred dollars on a cage that I was temporarily going to have. So I'm trying to get an actual cage built in this car. Um, sourcing people, um, contacting companies and stuff like that. It takes time, so I needed something that where I can mount my racing seats in front of and everything and actually put a harness on it so I'm not sitting here with these regular seat belts. So I'm actually gonna install this today. Um, it should come out pretty good. Um, it'll look somewhat decent. Next piece. So this is the harness, which I will lay out everything. So I ended up getting a harness for my seat. As you can see, I only have one of them. I ordered one with the intentions of having a seat by now where I can mount the seat, harness bar, and the harness, and at least I will have a spot and the tuner will have a spot to sit. So I had the intention of putting a harness bar in the harness and then putting the seat in because the seat is coming from a company in SoCal. Well, the seat's on back order and I have to wait. We don't know how long I'm gonna wait. We're still waiting on word from the actual company that is that makes the seats. Um, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. So if it's gonna be too, too long, the guy said, hey, listen, I'll cancel your order. And whenever we get close to getting them, he's just like, I'll email you again and you can purchase, you can make another purchase. Cause I told him, I was like, I can use that money elsewhere that I needed stuff ASAP. So that is why I have everything laid out in front of you right now and the reason why there's only one harness and an actual harness bar. But we're gonna get actually installing this stuff today. Um, these will just have to be dangling. This just in, we picked up a package. But while we take a break on everything else, I'm going to unbox this real quick.
They package this thing really well. I'm happy about it. All right, so I just got this in. This is my new wing. Um, I don't currently have one on the car, as you can see. I do still have the stock one, which I am keeping. I'm not getting rid of that. But I ordered this. Um, this is not Shine Autos. This is not MVP Motorsports. Um, I think there's another company that makes this too. Anyway, I ordered this directly off eBay. This is the Chinese Special. Um, the biggest thing that this thing is going to need is probably fitment down here um, that's where they usually don't line up um, but as long as it sits on it and I can actually physically mount this and everything lines up nicely as far as these two perches and the center carbon fiber I'm happy I'm a happy camper but I'm going to get right into this and I'm probably gonna mount this and then I'll finish everything else up probably a little bit later and this wing everybody has it i know every super runs these um but i've always been a huge fan of it and well it's my car so i can do whatever i want with it but without further ado let's get right into this let me just start mounting these perches and make sure they line up the at least the holes fucking amazing um, the fitment is damn near spot on it's insane that I spent probably about I think this wing was 270 shipped um, from China and this thing fits like perfect well not perfect but it's pretty damn close I'm going to bolt on the end plates real quick and then I will reveal it to you guys all right, so I just got the end plates on. Um, I guess you can call them end plates, whatever. At the end of the wing, and I mean this this wing looks fucking amazing right now. I did notice um, it fits it fits extremely extremely well. Um, there's just one small gap that I noticed on the other side. Um, nothing really that crazy. Um, you can I can kind of see the bolt, and I'll, I'll show I'll show you guys in a second. Overall, the fitment looks like damn near spot on. Everything looks good. Um, I, I can't wait to get this this wing painted. All right, enough talk. Let me just show you guys. Damn. Camera does not do it justice. Now, mind you, it's not painted, obviously. I mean, I mean, the wing looks amazing. I raised it up as high as it'll go on front and rear, so it kind of sits a little bit better. But, I mean, the gaps like they're damn near not even existent um, slight little one right up here um, right over here on the driver's side it's slight little gap right in there that's the gap that I was talking about and you can kind of see let's see if I can point it out right there the shiny thing right there that is the actual bolt I will zoom in for you guys oh, this car's dusty right there so that is the actual bolt that um, the front bolt of the spoiler um, but overall that's I mean that's really not too concerning it's not like the thing doesn't fit at all I can at least run the wing on the car but I mean there is no denying that hands down this is one of the best looking wings for a Supra Alright, 
finally figured it out. I had to retain the old bolts. For some odd reason, these new bolts they supply, I don't know why they supply them, but they're tiny. So, I reused the factory bolts, as you can see, factory hardware. Um, this is kind of just dangling there. I should put something behind here so it doesn't scratch up. It's kind of just on there right now. It's not really tight. I'm going to be setting the angle for the two bottom bars. One mounts here. And it goes back down to the corner same thing down there and down to the corner so they'll go down right down here so this is where the seatbelt the bottom of the seatbelt bolts up so it'll come up here and it'll go to the bottom part right here and that should keep it stable once it's stable and level I will go ahead and tighten these two bolts up all right so after a lot of fighting and a lot of uh curse words as usual I finally got it in um, I'm sorry I didn't film it because I was in thinking mode and I didn't think to even pick up the camera and it was sitting right there but I will show you after product and I will tell you exactly why I'm not happy with this so as you can see it is in and after a lot of fighting and cursing it's finally bolted up um, I had to look at a lot of pictures and a lot of guesswork Quick. All right, so originally I thought it was supposed to come up a little bit higher, so it'd be kind of up here. But after looking at other people's, I realized that a universal kit should not be used. So it's about 49 inches from this bolt to that bolt. Problem is, is they don't factor in from the bolt to this, the interior. So that means that this is actually it's gonna be hard to see because it's so fucking light out so it is actually rubbing right on the interior right here so here it is from the back side uh, the blue is a little bit lighter than normal um, well not normal but it's a little bit lighter than my valve covers and my blow off valve and everything but Overall, it's not terrible. So overall, it'll be temporary. Um, I just need something to mount the harnesses, really. But I do intend on getting an entire cage built solely around this car. I don't know if I'm going to do a 10 point with the bars in the front, or just like a six to eight point with the kind of the swing out door arms. All right, so I just finished up this edit. Um, it was supposed to come out yesterday, Tuesday, but I was on standby, I had a call, it went a little bit later than I expected, so I didn't end up uploading it. I also apologize, this video is kind of uh, back and forth between uh, a week or two or so, um, so it's kind of two different videos and I just kind of comprised them into one video, one big video. I do want to start doing a, like a Tuesday and Thursday upload or maybe a Tuesday and Friday to try to gap them so I try to get at least two videos a week. But my bike actually broke down, stay tuned for that video. If you're watching my Instagram stories, you'll already know. Regardless, hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys already know what to do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment. Make sure you guys go up and you hit that notification bell so you do know when I upload a new video. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Too many thoughts in my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time.